touchscreen issues on the Xiaomi Poco F1 may finally have been fixed. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure you subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon to get notified of new videos. Hey peeps, what's up? Manchi here, back with another video and I have some good news for POCO users. Touchscreen issues on the POCO F1 may finally have been fixed. A fair piece of warning, I never had any touchscreen issues on my POCO F1 and yes, I do play PUBG in claw style before you mention that in the comments, but even then, even after learning how to play PUBG with a claw setup, I never had any touch issues on my POCO F1. A lot of my viewers do have touchscreen issues on the POCO F1 and why I say that they may have been fixed that is because I personally cannot test them for you. You are the only people who have to test it out and let me know in the comments below. Let's get into some important details. First things first, how did they get fixed? Well, that is because a few days back Xiaomi released the kernel source for Android 10 for the POCO F1, the Xiaomi Mi 8, Mi Mix 2S and a bunch of other devices. Yes, I know POCO F1 still hasn't gotten official Android 10 from Xiaomi but the kernel source has been released and developers who have built kernels using that source have reported that the touchscreen issues have been fixed for both FTS and NVT display panels. How do you find out whether you have a FTS or a NVT panel? Well, you download an application called Device Info Hardware from the Google Play Store. You can find the link for that in the description of the video and also in the pinned comment. And once you open the application, you will see that the touch screen is mentioned as NVT or FTS. In my case, it is mentioned as NVT hyphen TS, which means I have the NVT touch screen on my POCO F1. Now with the new kernel source, Xiaomi did add new drivers for both FTS and NVT and that is what I think fixed the touch screen issues on the POCO F1. Of course, they haven't rolled out this change with MIUI 11 based on Android Pie. I am pretty sure they're going to roll it out with MIUI 11 based on Android 10. When will Xiaomi do that? I don't know. Neither do I work for Xiaomi nor am I in touch with any of the people who make decisions at Xiaomi. Those things out of the way, you do have a few custom kernels popping up which have these new drivers and users who have tested those kernels in the developers private groups have reported very good results. I have linked one such kernel in the pinned comment and as and when more kernels come out, the pinned comment will be updated. So you need to make sure that you read the pinned comment. Again, please make sure you read the pinned comment and also click on read more. The kernel which I'm talking about is Pendulum kernel and it is only for peeps who are running custom ROMs based on Android 10 because as I mentioned earlier, the POCO F1 hasn't got an official Android 10 update from Xiaomi. Once it gets that, you might have the updated drivers from Xiaomi as well. But for now, the kernels I think are going to be for Android 10 only. I'm not sure if any developer would be interested in integrating those patches into Android Pie kernels. Again, I'm not a developer. You might have kernels with the new drivers for Android Pie and you might not. But we definitely have kernels coming up for Android 10 with the new touch drivers for FTS and NVT display panels so there it is peeps i just wanted to give my viewers some good news for christmas and happy new year this might very well be the end of touch screen issues for the poco f1 and i hope that that is true touch wood and that will do it for this video i hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you